Hey guys, welcome back. This week we are giving you a good look into the very real challenges of self-reliant living on a remote island. But our efforts are rewarded with a very special experience. So stick around as we ID some ocean friends we haven't seen in a while. We have been in isolation now for a couple of weeks since COVID started spreading around the country. We've been spearfishing and doing what we can to sort of survive from the ocean, but when it comes to vegetables, there's not there's not really enough food for us here just on Upi Island. So in our typical resort mode, we would be purchasing market from local suppliers who have gardens on the mainland where they can grow a larger quantity and a bigger variety of vegetables than what we can actually grow here on Upi. Upi is actually a coral atoll, so we don't have ideal soil here for growing all types of vegetables. We grow what we can and we have amazing hydroponic gardens for our salad and our herbs and things like that, but we can't grow everything and we certainly can't grow enough. At times it can feel a little bit stressful and that's one aspect of isolating here but also just living this kind of lifestyle on a remote tropical island. I don't know if you've ever thought about living this sort of lifestyle if this is something that you've considered. It's not easy, it's not like you can just go down to the shops and buy what you need or what you want. You are very dependent on what is available and how you can get it and in this current situation when we've got a family to think about um, it has been a little bit stressful for us. I don't know, let me know how, how you would feel in this situation. Are we a bit immune to the circumstances here now? Are we so used to this that it just seems normal or is it so far from reality that you think we're crazy? I don't know. Otto and I are out harvesting vegetables. <laughs> so because of the situation we're in, um, all the local markets and everything are closed. It's not really an area that we'd want to be in anyway at the moment, just for those large gatherings. So we're fortunate enough to have a market producer that we normally purchase from who has an isolated garden, which we're actually going to go and harvest from ourselves. He hasn't been there in the last two days. He lives in an isolated area as well by himself, so overall risk is really, really, really small. Being super cautious, but that's just the way we are. So yeah, we're going to go harvest some veggies. So we're just getting shown in today so that we can um, know the boundaries of his garden, make sure we don't harvest from someone else's garden, and then he'll leave us to it. sort of scattered all around in little plots so we shall see. There's lots of freshwater shrimp in this river which is pretty cool. <laughs> Beautiful, it's got rainbow. Odd bark on it. 
Oh yeah, so we've got our potatoes, some peppers, some beans, not a whole lot of everything. Um, some tapioca, cassava, some tomatoes, some eggplant, and some more spring onions, and we get some more beans as well. So we're actually doing pretty well. It's really hot. I'm ready to get home. <clears throat> Okay, Otto, can you run through all those prices again? <laughs> all right, we've done pretty well. All right, now we're just gonna pay. All right, done. Hello and I are making some banana and ice cream because, I don't know, ice cream makes you feel happy. Does it make you feel happy? And yeah. I've been feeling a little bit low, just a bit down, emotional, um, I think it's pretty normal. And I did a workout this morning, been doing some things to try and make myself feel good, and I think an ice cream is the way to go. So this is going to be a banana, ginger, lime and mint nice cream. I'll put the recipe in the description below, and probably also on our blog. If you haven't already and you want to check out our blog, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. We've shared a few recipes there so far and there'll be lots more to come. Um, this should be pretty yummy. Let's see how we go. So do you not, did you have a sleep? No. Yeah, you're a bit cuckoo, are you? What are you doing? What are you contributing to this process? <laughs> Can see me? Is it any good? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yep. What do you think? Good. So how are you finding lockdown, right? Dad? Lockdown found me, but nevertheless, <laughs> at the moment I'm enjoying it immensely. I think we should have ice cream, banana ice cream every meal. It's like super stormy and cold, but we need to go and get some fish while we can still get out. The weather totally fits the mood. Uh, it's been dead calm all day, and then we get the call that you know this lockdown's happening. We're like, alright, we'll go for a shoot. Everything descends upon us. reason the moon the current aggregating trout or just our own self-inflicted desperation to catch fish for the gang left us pretty well empty-handed after hours and hours underwater 
But in the end, it takes a moment with a beautiful cuttlefish to make everything feel worth the effort, despite not catching any dinner. I just spotted my first whales from the deck. I was just putting some sunscreen on and there's a little pod of pilot whales just out the front of the passage. So I'm gonna run back, um, try and grab the kids and Katie and we'll just go out for a bit of a play in the boat with them. Second guessing myself they weren't dolphins, but they're too big for dolphins and they were behaving exactly like pilot whales. Just sitting on the surface there. So anyway, I'm gonna run now before we miss our chance. Phew. It's funny because this is actually one of the big reasons why we want to live on the open ocean site here is spotting whales as they come past. So. This is pretty cool. That was, that was definitely the fastest I've ever got ready. Okay, this is Pilot Well Safaris. Okay. Great. Here you go. Careful going down, sweetie. You had your snacks yet? time out here together until the kids really needed to be back on land for lunch and Jace and I came straight back out again to get a better look with the drone and try to swim with these beautiful mammals which turned out to be quite large Rizzo dolphins. We didn't have a lot of luck in the water but this really was a good day. That's pretty freaking cool. It's so beautiful. 